The story begins after Noor, a baronet's son, loses his job, so his younger sister, Alice, suggests he attend the Hero Academy. His friend, Emma, believes he will succeed since Noor possesses the rare magic skill called Great Sage, which reveals the correct answer to any question, but it causes crippling headaches. Emma also reveals that a former Great Sage alleviated his headaches by kissing his wives and embarrassingly requests Noor kiss her. However, Noor finds his headache gone and learns from Great Sage that great strength lies within a hidden dungeon. There, Noor finds the famous heroine Olivia, bound by death chains. As such, she gifts Noor her skills. Get creative, bestow, and editor. However, they require LP points, which are generated by feeling satisfaction. Fast forward to the Academy entrance exam, where they are told to gather rare materials in groups of three. But being only a baronet's son, Noor is ignored by most of the nobles and teams with Emma and Lenore Bluden. Noir then returns to the dungeon alone and he uses Olivia's skills to defeat a dead reaper. With the exam over, the reaper's skull is revealed as an extremely rare material, and they unexpectedly set a new academy record. Unfortunately for Noir, his father cannot afford the 300,000 gold academy fee, so Noir must earn it himself. Meanwhile, reluctant to draw more attention by slaying another rare monster, Noir decides to join the Auden Adventurer's Guild. There, the receptionist, Lola, is furious when he claims to have Olivia's skills, since Olivia was a guild member from over 200 years ago. As such, she wagers him to prove it, and she ends up being forced to apologize while flashing him when he does. Nevertheless, for his first quest, Nor collects rare rainbow grasshoppers, using Great Sage to locate them and earning a hopping 250 gold. Seeing how capable he is, Lola develops a crush on him. Afterwards, Nor and Emma aims to hunt a big rabbit a magical 20-feet-tall beast. After it proves too strong, Emma becomes depressed and Noor has the inspiration to use Get Creative to improve her skills, but is forced to nibble on her ear in order to generate enough LP, including an accidental sussy shot. With the rabbit defeated and enough gold to pay his fees, Noor shares the rabbit meat in a feast with the rest of the guild. Elsewhere, Olivia is annoyed Noor has not visited in a while since giving him her skills. On their first day, Noor meets Maria Fianna Albert, a duke's daughter, and with his discerning eye realizes she's cursed to perish on her 16th birthday. Nor is then ignored by his classmates, since Baronin is a title awarded to commoners for service to the kingdom. As such, Maria goes out of her way to treat Nor as an equal. For combat training, ex-adventurer Elna Stongs tries to teach the class a skill to avoid an opponent's strike, promising a sussy prize to anyone who uses it successfully. In the end, Noor is the only one to manage using Get Creative as a shortcut, and is treated to a full-body treatment, raising his LP. Meanwhile, Maria is overcome by the pain of her curse, which Noor is determined to cure, but is informed by Great Sage that a vast amount of LP is required. As he is already low on LP, Noor kisses Emma without thinking and is punished by Elna. Asking Lola's advice, Noor learns about Luna, a cleric known for her healing abilities, but is warned Luna almost never deals with curses for personal reasons. Later, Lola visits Luna, who happens to be her best friend. Meanwhile, Nor finally visits Olivia and has to grovel after not visiting earlier. To help Maria, Olivia teaches him her skill, Lucky Letcher, which will generate LP through accidental sussy moves. Afterwards, Luna meets with them and reveals that she has actually already met Maria, but had to refuse to help. With his discerning eye, Nor realizes that lifting curses shortens Luna's own lifespan and lifting a curse like Maria's would destroy her instantly so he's surprised when she agrees to lift the curse and perish. When a child is injured and Luna heals him, she suddenly becomes terrified. As such, he examines her skills again, but this time Nor sees she has the useless skill Cowardice, which makes her more of a coward the lower her magic drops. Lola is then furious Luna hit her own suffering, but is now glad she knows. After a big brain moment, Nor realizes it would cost less LP to change lifespan in Luna's skills to finances, so that lifting curses costs gold instead of HP, but that still requires more LP. To generate the LP quickly, Lola takes him to a secret gathering where a cult of jealous men rates the attractiveness of each other's girlfriends. Please leave some love if you watched this far. There the crowd mercilessly criticizes the girlfriend's physical attractiveness, as Emma, Lola, and Luna all pose as Nora's harem and win over the crowd by acting out romantic scenarios with Nor, raising his LP from winning the prize money and enjoying the attention of all three girls at once. Afterwards, they rush to Maria's home, where they explain to Maria's parents the reason Luna could not cure Maria before and what they have done to let her lift the curse without risk. Overhearing everything Nora did for her and realizing that he used most of his LP, Maria kisses him. Luna then clutches and manages to lift the curse with less than a minute to spare. 
After the ordeal, Maria swears to spend the rest of her life repaying her debt to Nor, making the girls even more jealous as they realize Maria has a crush on Nor. The situation for Nor becomes downright dangerous when Luna admits she also has fallen for Nor. Afterwards, he visits Olivia to pass on the good news and is surprised when Olivia demands a kiss as well. However, he can only bring himself to kiss her on the forehead. As a reward, Maria's father generously pays everyone 1 million gold, which Nora plans to save for his future. Smart man. Nora then decides to open a shop selling rare monster materials, with his mother, father, and sister as employees. Later, when heading to the dungeon to begin harvesting monster materials, Nora learns some more useful skills from Olivia. After finally making it to level 5, Nora comes across a pitch black lion and attempts to flee, only for the lion to speak. The lion, Tigerson, explains he was friends with an elf adventurer, Vashel, and they explored the dungeon together. But Vashel insisted on exploring level 6 alone and disappeared 350 years ago. However, Tigerson hopes Vashel might still be alive. On level 6, Nor discovers Vashel is now a zombie and uses Get Creative to turn him back. Overwhelmed by Tigerson's loyalty, Vashel thanks him but decides to return home, hoping to find his beloved. As magical creatures are forbidden there, Vashel and Tigerson are forced to say goodbye, so Nor offers to be Tigerson's new friend and let him live at his family home. Tigerson is eagerly welcomed by Nor's family, who offer to employ him as security for their new shop. After a while, Maria begins hugging Nor in public. Regardless, their first exam is announced, where they must collect specific monster materials or else they must attend summer school. As such, Nora and Emma ask Lola for help, only to find her in a fight with Sarah, another receptionist who's apparently been stealing Lola's clients, thus lowering Lola's performance evaluation. As there's no proof Sarah broke any rules, Lola challenges her to a competition where she scores higher on their next evaluation. Sarah never steals another client, but if she loses, Sarah takes Nora as a client. Nora then uses discerning eye and is terrified to reveal that Sarah's skills are sadistically, well, pleasing. Nor, Emma, and Luna begin completing as many jobs as possible to help raise Lola's evaluation. However, after passing their exam, they find it's still not enough to beat Sarah, whose adventurers are driving themselves beyond exhaustion in hopes she will reward them. After asking Olivia for help, Nor is advised to defeat the dungeon's seventh floor for its treasures, and she gives him several more of her skills. Upon reaching floor 7, Nor finds himself in an underground forest where an elf girl watches him from the trees. The girl, Dory the Dryad, asks for Nora's help, explaining dryads are tree spirits, and a monster is attacking her tree, draining her magic, and slowly depleting her. She promises to show him two treasure chests and the entrance to level 8 if he helps her. However, Nora discovers a gold bee monster that is so powerful its sting will be instantly fatal, but he still decides to help. Grateful. Dory heals a small wound on his lip by kissing and licking it, raising his LP considerably. He then returns to Olivia, who advises against risking his life for a stranger, but is eventually convinced and tells him how to win. Using Get Creative, he convinces a nearby pack of silver wolves to attack the bee. The pack is killed, but the bee is weakened enough that Nor kills it easily. After promising to visit Dory frequently, Nor finds two rare items in the chests, one he gives to Emma to strengthen her wind magic, and the other to Lola to increase her evaluation. In the end, Lola wins the evaluation. While Sarah is forbidden from stealing anyone else's clients for life, but she still attempts to take Nor. One day, Emma invites Nora to a party for nobles. Meanwhile, as a baronet, Nora's father is unfairly prohibited from renting a space for Nora's shop. At the party, the Earl announces the notorious phantom thief has threatened to steal his jewel, a mermaid's tear, so he has hired the Long Guild as security. Emma is then approached by Mike Kentel, a noble, who challenges Nora to see who the better dancer is. Nora then uses LP to gain dancing skills and is declared the victor. Suddenly, the Phantom Thief arrives and steals the tear, while also kidnapping Emma. Leela, from Lamu, chases after her with Nor. The Phantom Thief then summons a phoenix, which Layla takes on while Nor defeats the Phantom Thief. Suddenly, they are pinned by her partner Tom, who declares he will marry Emma. A furious Nor then declares Emma is precious to him. So Emma awakens and the do defeat Tom together. Afterwards, Emma is worried that Nor might think she's now dirty, but he reassures her with a kiss. Despite being from rival guilds, Layla agrees she and Nor can be friends. As thanks, the Earl helps Nor open his shop and gets him a massive discount on the rent.